All right, we are gonna talk about color harmony. So when you're setting up your still life, you have an idea of what colors go well together. So you can use any four of these or combination of these four. Um, it's not required that your composition only has one of these color harmonies, but rather I just want you to think about what colors work well together. All right, so complementary colors are across from the wheel. We learned a little bit about that when we were mixing complementary, split complementaries, um, triad, and analogous are the color harmony we're going to learn about. So let's talk about those each together. So um, color, a split complementary is um, when, so first complementary, I don't have a separate slideshow about that because we already learned about that, but it just means colors that are crossed from each other. Um, split complementary, it, maybe, I, I, eh, we'll see if I have another slideshow about complementary. Just as long as you know they work well together and they're across from each other. Now split complementary is across from each other, but it's split. So in this example we have green, but instead of red, we have red violet and, um, and yellow, uh, red orange um okay so it creates a good visual contrast but it doesn't have as much tension as complementary complementary is really like has a lot of tension and, and kind of is really shocking split complementary is less shocking all right here's a good example of this so we have um blue let's see how is she so we have, so we have red, orange, and yellow, orange. So we have red, orange, and yellow, orange, and they are crossed from the blue, right there. So red, orange, and yellow, orange. Now you can see in this painting, there's other elements in this painting that aren't just split complementary. And just like your still life, you're not going to have just one um, color harmony, but you can use these color harmonies to enhance how the colors fit together. Okay, so triad is another color harmony where three um, color, you're using three colors directly uh, spaced out from each other. Um, usually there's one color that's more dominant than the other colors. So in this case, it's orange, violet, and green. Um, you can also do the primary. So that would be red, blue, and yellow. And you can also do some of the tertiaries. But they just seem to be spaced out so that there's three colors in between them. Um, here's an example of that. So it would be green for the trees violet for the shadows and orange for the background. Again, it, the colors don't fit perfectly in that because when you're making a painting, to have the colors fit exactly into color harmony would be a little bit boring. You want some variation. But the dominant colors are those three colors. Alright, um, and then analogous uh, this really creates a serene and comfortable scene. It can remind people of nature and it's very pleasing to the eye, but it can also lack contrast. So you have to be careful with that. Um, and those just mean that there are colors next to each other. So in this case, there's three, but it could be four or even five colors next to each other, and that would still be analogous. Here's an example of that. So you can see all the colors next to each other. And here's another example, very different painting, and it also is analogous. Okay, that is it. Um, so go out and make uh, beautiful still lifes with beautiful colors and interesting objects.